Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we'll discuss about the introduction to AES. AES means Advanced Encryption Standard. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about DES. There, we have identified few disadvantages in DES. What's the what's those disadvantages are? See, in DES, we are having 56-bit key, meaning there is a chance to identify the key using brute force algorithm. What are the total possibilities we have in order to identify the key? 2 power 56 key possibilities are there. So if you have the fastest computer, then you can easily identify the key. That is what we have discussed there in DES. So in order to overcome that uh, disadvantage, uh, they, in, they invented a new algorithm which is advanced encryption standard. Here the goal is completely to increase the size of key. So for that purpose, uh, AES goes like this. First we try to understand the overview in this class. In our coming classes, we are going to understand step by step what happens inside clearly in our coming classes. So in this uh, AES, we are having 128-bit plain text. So this is also block cipher technique, means we divide the data into blocks and each block contains 128-bit plain text and we are going to use 128-bit key. There are different versions in AES. At the end, we are going to understand what's that version. So the first round is pre-round transformation. There, the key is used, K0. Key generation algorithm will be defined here. So this key generation algorithm is going to define, is going to identify multiple keys according to the rounds. Similarly, the same concept applied in DES also. There we understand what's key generation algorithm, how it will be. Similarly, we are having a new kind of uh, algorithm for key generation in AES. And here the pre-round transformation, after that we are having round 1, round 2, so on up to n rounds. So what is this n? From this n, nth round, we are going to get 128-bit cipher text. This cipher text is moved to the destination. There it will go into the decryption phase, step by step, exactly reverse to the encryption. Now try to understand what is round n means. See here, in AES, we are having three versions. If the key size is 128-bit, if you take a key size of 128-bit, you go with n is equal to 10 rounds. If the key size, if you consider the key size as 192, you go with n is equal to 12 rounds. If you take key is equal to 256, you go with 14 rounds. These are the three different versions available in AES. You go with any one of them. According to your security complexity, you go with the most of the, you go with the key size. Most of the banking websites, not most, all the banking websites, they are going to use key is equal to 256 because it is impossible to crack the key using brute force method. If you take a biggest computer, biggest uh, server in the world, as of now, this is 2024, if you take the costliest or uh, the fastest uh, server in the world, it is going to take about 10 years to crack the key if you are using 2 power 256 possibilities, if you use the key size of 256. So that's what we have written here, AES 128 means you go with 10 rounds, 192 means 12 rounds, 256 means 14 rounds. And the point, next point you need to understand, AES is using non-fistal cipher. DES is using fistal cipher, means non-invertible components are used in fistal cipher. Even though we are using non-invertible components, but still we can get the decryption. How that happens using the XOR operation, we discussed in DES. Here, it is going to use only non-fistal ciphers, means uh, invertible components are there. Everything is invertible component. We are not going to use non-invertible components. So hope you got a good clarity about what happened inside the AES. In our next class, we are going to understand the overview of what happens inside the round in AES. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section.
below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you